I took my feelings out, I put my mind in it Just keep on hustling, I see you try and get it You couldn't rush greatness, I took my time with it All these niggas try and smoke, all my niggas try and deal it Fuck a horoscope, dollar sign, the only sign I got that work, I put in work, we call that overtime You keep on telling us you solid, but we know you lying You can't hang with the gang, boy, you know you tried I took my feelings out, I put my mind in it just keep on hustling, I see you try and get it. I need to do something to my damn head, child. Because this is a mess. Man, y'all already know what the fuck going on. It's 10 minutes left in day 11, but we ain't here. I was going to record a video when I was at home earlier today. And I just, I don't know what it is, but like, once I get home for the day, it's like all of my energy leaves my body. Whatever little energy I have left. So I literally like took the dogs outside, fed the dogs, fed myself, and like passed out. So that didn't go as well as I planned for it to go. But that's okay because I decided to take tomorrow morning um, off for my second job. And I'm going to focus on, on some content. I'm going to focus this weekend on creating some content and literally like sitting down in my house with the intention of creating and i've not done that before um i well that's not true i've done it before but not like this intentionally you know what i mean not like carving out the exact space and time to do it so before we get into this video i want to say thank you thank you thank you to everybody who's been following my journey so far some of y'all have been locked in with me since day one and y'all are still going strong with me i honestly didn't expect anybody to um care <laughs> what you guys do and you're really helping me to hold myself accountable and um i don't know it's just really cool to have support through this process through this journey so i just want to say thank you to you guys i know i say that every video and i know i always put that in every comment i respond to but it's because like i really am appreciative of you guys i really love y'all and value y'all's input i value your comments like when i'll be coming to y'all for advice it's because i genuinely be needing advice and i genuinely be want to know what y'all think so like Thank y'all for fucking with me. So if you're new to my channel, this would be a great time to pause for the calls and go ahead and press that subscribe button one time for the one time. While you're there, go ahead and tap that notification bell so you can be notified every single time a late ass bitch gonna be in the timeline. Y'all already know how we do. And since you already down there clicking shit, you might as well go ahead and show my like button some love too and thumbs this video the fuck up, man. I love y'all. I appreciate you guys. So on my day nine video, which if you haven't watched that yet, stop this video, go back and watch that, then come back and watch this. Thanks, love you a minute, bye. <laughs> so on my day nine video, one of my good friends and supporters, Desiree, left um, a comment on that video and the first line of it just kind of like took me by the shoulders and shook the hell out of me. Literally the first sentence in the, in the comment says, forgive yourself right and i talk all the time about how i'm so hard on myself and how i'm constantly like just on my ass i'm not enough i don't do enough i'm not trying hard enough i don't have enough stuff accomplished by now for my age and where i want to be and my goals and blah, blah 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 whatever and it never really occurred to me that i've never stopped and forgave myself i've never stopped and said you know like dude like you're doing the best you can you all you can do is the best you can you're trying really hard and like i've never i don't know i don't know why it's shaking me to my core forgive yourself i don't know why it's burned into my brain forgive yourself but it is and i'm sitting here thinking about it i've been thinking about it for a while and i'm just like i don't think i've ever forgiven myself for decisions that i've made in the past for actions that I've done or you know people I've hurt or wronged or anything like that I don't think I've ever truly sat down and like forgiven myself I don't know why it's so hard forgiving yourself requires a certain amount of honesty right and in that honesty you have to be able to hold up a mirror to yourself and say you know these are the things that you've done you have to show yourself to yourself and that can be scary it is scary it's terrifying to to think back on the people that I've wronged, the people that I've hurt, the situations that I could have reacted differently in, and you know, so on and so forth. I'm always so overly critical of myself. I'm, I overanalyze everything. I just think that everything that I do, um, well, not everything, but major things that I do, 
I just think that, you know, I always make the wrong decisions. I'm always, I don't know, I'm always so hard on myself. And I try to think like, why are you like this? Why are you so critical of yourself? Why are you judge yourself so harshly? And I realize it's tapping right back into those, um, I hate this term, but those mommy issues, you know, feeling like I, I um, was never good enough. You know, nothing I did was right. Nothing I said was right. Nothing I wore was right. My body wasn't right. My sexuality isn't right. Um, my career choice is not right. Like nothing, nothing could please my mom about me. Nothing. So when you hear that, when you hear that for the majority of your life, right? That becomes like your internal dialogue. That becomes what your brain is programmed to believe. So, I'm realizing that more often than not, and I'm getting better now, but it still happens. I'm realizing more often than not, when that critical voice comes in my head, when that judgmental voice comes in my head, it's not my own voice. And also, when it comes to forgiving myself, I'm not able to because in my brain, that's not my voice either. First of all, I wanna go on record and say, this is not about her. So we're not even gonna go in that direction, y'all know as much about that situation as I have shared, but I think the gist of it is pretty much, you know, not having acceptance from my mom, you know? And that carries in my life in every possible aspect. Like I can't, I can't even begin to tell y'all. I am gonna begin to tell y'all. I just can't tell y'all right now. <laughs> but I'm thinking to myself like, where is this rooted from? You know, where is this coming from? Me not being able to forgive myself and harshly judging myself and, you know. So I've come to realize that like, I judge myself so harshly and I don't forgive myself easily or at all for things because, I don't know. But yeah, man, just feeling like I was never good enough. Having all of these, um, feelings of inadequacy. So I'm just, I'm saying all that to say, I've been in this like headspace since I read those words. I've been in this headspace of like, how can I do that? How can I forgive myself? How can I relinquish myself from regrets of my past and um, things that I feel like I should have done by now, but I haven't done by now? Like how, how? I'm asking y'all. I'm genuinely asking y'all how. How do I set myself free? How do I let this shit go? I have no idea. I have no idea. And it bothers me because I feel like on one hand, I should just get over it, right? You should just get past it. You can't change anything that's already happened. Like you can't undo the past. You can only move forward. So just get over it, right? But then on the other hand, I'm still really bothered and affected by a lot of that shit. A lot of that shit. A lot of the shit that has been said to me since I'm a kid. A lot of the stuff um, that I've witnessed as a kid. Like, I don't know. It's just... But yeah, I just, I don't know. I have no idea and I want to because I feel like the more steps I take, toward that, toward letting whatever has already happened go, the faster I'm gonna find that freedom that I'm looking for, the faster I'm gonna find that like, I don't know. It's just burning my brain, forgive yourself, forgive yourself. And I literally am like thinking about it and I have no idea what is, where to start. Um, I process everything all the time. I think about everything all the time. I'm constantly replaying things in my head all the time. And I don't know. And you know another thing too? It's easier for me to forgive other people than it is for me to forgive myself. How? How'd I work? Like, what? I think forgiveness is important, right? And I'm, it's easier for me to forgive other people, rare but still easier. <laughs> and I say rare, I say rare because, well, we'll, we'll get, that's another video, that's another video. I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused, I mean, I'm not confused. Confused sounds like that, I'm not confused. I'm just, I'm interested. I'm interested in learning how to forgive myself and how to, 
um, let go of things that are beyond my control, how to accept things that I cannot change. How can I accept the things that I cannot change? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like because I have so much um, resentment, it makes me closed off to a lot of things, which is why it's so hard for me to be open, which is why it's so hard for me to be vulnerable, which is why it's so hard for me to trust people, because I just be feeling like, damn, I can't even trust the person that birthed me. You think I can trust you? You know, and that's a horrible way to think. That's a horrible way to think. That's a terrible way to think, but it's my reality. You know, and I'm just, I don't know. I'm swimming in a bunch of thoughts right now. I really don't feel like I'm even making a bunch of sense. Um, drop it in the comments below. <laughs> Any advice you have for me um, as far as forgiving myself? Any steps? Any first steps? What steps do you guys take? What are some first steps that you guys take when it comes to healing yourself? What are some steps that you guys take when it comes to forgiving yourself? Like, what? Help. <laughs> Help. Help me, help me, because I'm committed, I'm very committed to showing myself that I can get past this, and I'm committed to the process of healing, as uncomfortable as it is, and it is uncomfortable, as much as it hurts, because it do fucking hurt, I am committed to healing myself, and I'm committed to evolving and growing through this process. I've, I've spent too much time already most of my 20s running from it and now I just want to run into it head on. I literally just want to like take all my problems, line them all up, go down the line and snap the shit out of all of them. <laughs> but these are my thoughts for day 11. Um, I'm really working on how to forgive myself and um, I'm turning to you guys. Y'all know, y'all know something. Y'all really is turning into like my therapist. <laughs> I might need it. Y'all might need to charge me a copay because y'all really is turning into my therapist. I really look forward to coming on here and talking to y'all and seeing what y'all have to say and like seeing y'all responses. I really do value y'all's opinion and y'all's advice. So like drop it in the comments below, man. Help your girl help herself. How the hell can I like start to let go of things from my past? In my childhood. We're going to get into more stuff too. I'm going I'm to talk to y'all about more stuff. I just have to dissect it. I have to compartmentalize things and, and go back and think. We're going to go back. We're going to touch on a lot more stuff in my upcoming videos. I've been thinking, 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 thinking about stuff that I just want to um, to vent, and, but to also be um constructive with i don't want to come on here and just be crying and just be sad like if i'm gonna be on here crying i'm gonna be on here sad i want to be making some steps toward healing at the same time which i feel like i'm i'm starting to hit my stride in. so this is day 11 this is where we at with it it's no tears today it's smiles today so that's good that's amazing um but we're still working we're still working toward this healing and we're still working towards um you know me completing myself and not looking for love in other people and not looking for acceptance and validation in other people. I need to feel that for myself. I need to come upon that for myself. So that's where we at on day 11. I thank you guys for checking in with me. You guys just keep coming back and keep hitting me up and keep rocking with me. And I just love y'all so freaking much. But that's it. That's all I got for you niggas today. That is it for day 11. I appreciate you guys for checking back in with me. I'm excited for this weekend because I'm recording some new content for you guys. And I am hella fucking geek. I'm hella geek about it. I will see you guys tomorrow for day 12. I love you guys so freaking much. And don't forget to drop it in the comments below. Any suggestions you have for me to just make steps towards forgiving myself and, um, and healing. What do you guys do? What do you don't do? What do you avoid? Shit, tell me everything. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I will see you niggas next motherfucking video. <laughs> I ran it up, I ain't take my time with it They can't hang with the gang Them niggas jaw timid While y'all was sleeping, I was up trying to get it I'm off the deep end, I'm depending on millions Take care of the fam, had to take that chance, it was easy Can't put my heart into something that I know won't leave